Howdy, I'm Mudlosh141 and today I'm going to show you how to set up my Artificial Horizon script. The first things we're going to need are a program block and a timer. So inside the program we're going to stick my Artificial Horizon script. Okay, hit check code, make sure it compiles. Um, you'll see this is the setup right here, but I'm going to walk you through it. Um, and these are the configurable variables. I'll come back to this a little bit later. All right, so remember an exit. Now we need to set up our timer. So make it silent. You'll thank me for that. Hit trigger now on the timer. We want it to start. And we want it to run with default argument the program. All right. Then you can trigger that. And you'll see that if the code is running, you'll see this little spinning bar. And it'll tell us uh, any errors that it detects. So no ship controllers and name forward detected. That's our next step. So we need a ship controller. A ship controller can be any of the, the cockpits in the game. Um, any of these will work. Also the passenger seat will work as well as a remote control. So I'm just going to pick this cockpit right here. This will work for both large and small group. Um, so now we need a we need to rename this. Or not rename, but add something to its name. Add the name tag forward. And then you'll see that it gets our velocity, roll, pitch, and our bearing. And it'll tell us that we need a text panel named Horizon. So you can use a text panel, as it says, or you can use an LCD panel. For large grid, I recommend the 1x1 one one LCD panels because uh, they're square and they look a lot better. So you can use either one. It's totally up to you. We need to add Horizon into its name, and you'll see that it'll pop up. And then we fly around you'll see that as I turn the readout will display the horizon so yeah that little yellow thing you see right there is my velocity indicator um, so yellow means I'm moving forward red means I'm moving backwards down at the bottom left you'll see my speed and then at the bottom right you'll see my heading or bearing, if you will. So yeah, now that we have the code successfully set up, um, we'll go to the program, and I'll show you the configurable variables. So you can change the tag that you put on the control seat uh, to whatever you want. You can also change the tag you put on the readout screen. You can change the maximum velocity all the way up to 999 meters per second. Anything over this code does not support. You can also change how often it will update uh, that's plenty fine. You don't need to update that anymore. Um, and then this is a variable that specifies if our orientation axes are drawn. So I have a default set to false so it doesn't look too messy, but if you set this to true, oh, I can't spell T-R-U-E, true, remember an exit. When we look, you'll see there is now a cross in our screen that denotes our left right axis and our up down axis. So if you want more of a helper, this can help you level off a lot easier and uh, can help you make 90 degree uh, roll and whatnot. And I just crashed. That's fantastic. Well, I guess the end, that's the end of the demonstration for that craft. Um, also, I will demonstrate how it works on small grid. It's the exact same concept. Uh, I have my text panel on this side because I used a text panel on this as opposed to the LCD panel because the LCD panel is huge. Um, you'll see we have the code running on here. Uh, I slapped the program up here because I didn't have any more space inside my ship and I have a timer inside my ship. But you'll see that the naming conventions are still the same. We name our cockpit we put the word forward somewhere in its name, doesn't matter where, and then we stick the name Horizon in the text panel name, and then we're good to go. Now this code will also work outside of a planetary gravity well, so if I go ahead and cut this ship and I fly out of the gravity well, right here, and then I paste it, Make sure my timer's running. 
then you'll see that this will switch to just a regular velocity indicator. Um, so yeah, if you want a trans-atmospheric vessel, um, you can use this code without fear of it breaking once you leave atmosphere. It'll switch to a regular velocity indicator to try and help you fly. So yeah, that's that's all for this code. I hope you guys enjoy.